The Ticonderoga class of guided missile cruisers is a class of warships in the United States Navy, first ordered and authorized in the 1978 fiscal year. The class uses passive phased array radar and was originally planned as a class of destroyers. However, the increased combat capability offered by the Aegis Combat System and the in spy one radar system, together with the capability of operating as a flagship, were used to justify the change of the classification from DDG, Guided Missile Destroyer, to CG, Guided Missile Cruiser, shortly before the keels were laid down for Ticonderoga and Yorktown. Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruisers are multi-role warships. Their MK-41 VLS can launch Tomahawk cruise missiles to strike strategic or tactical targets, or fire long-range anti-aircraft standard missiles for defense against aircraft or anti-ship missiles. Their LAMPS-3 helicopters and sonar systems allow them to perform anti-submarine missions. Ticonderoga-class ships are designed to be elements of carrier battle groups or amphibious ready groups, as well as performing missions such as interdiction or escort. With upgrades to their and spy one phased radar systems and their associated missile payloads as part of the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System, members of this class have, in successive tests, repeatedly demonstrated their proficiency as mobile anti-ballistic missile and anti-satellite weaponry platforms. Of the 27 completed vessels, 19 were built by Ingalls Shipbuilding and 8 by Bath Iron Works BIW. All but one, Thomas S. Gates, of the ships in the class are named for noteworthy events in you. S. Military history, and at least 12 share their names with World War II era aircraft carriers. As of 2020, 22 ships are still active and expected to serve for 35 years since commissioning. In addition to the added radar capability, the Ticonderoga class ships built after USS Thomas S. Gates included two Mark 41 vertical launching systems, VLS. The two VLS allow the ship to have 122 missile storage and launching tubes that can carry a wide variety of missiles, including the Tomahawk cruise missile, standard surface-to-air missile, evolved Sea Sparrow surface-to-air missile, and ASROC anti-submarine warfare, ASW, guided rockets. More importantly, the VLS enables all missiles to be on full standby at any given time, shortening the warship's response time before firing. The original five ships, Ticonderoga, Yorktown, Vincennes, Valley Forge, and Thomas S. Gates, had Mark 26 twin-arm launchers that limited their missile capacity to a total of 88 missiles, and that could not fire the Tomahawk missile. After the end of the Cold War, the less capable original five warships were limited to duties close to the home waters of the United States. A standard missile loadout for a Ticonderoga cruiser is 80 SM-2 SAMs, 16 ASROC anti-submarine rockets, and 26 Tomahawk cruise missiles.